Uh, we're here today in southern Kern County. Um, this is 300 acres of tomatoes uh, grown for processing. Uh, this tomato field is grown on drip. We're growing them for ConAgra and they're going to end up in uh, Hunt's products. On this property we installed the subsurface tape system. Basically what it is is a drip tape, has inline emitters, um, trickle irrigation what it's typically called. Uh, what it is is a line of tubing with, uh, with emitters in it that slowly irrigates uh, the tomatoes. Uh, drip irrigation is the preferred method of irrigating tomatoes these days. We can control the water better and the yields are a lot better with drip. Basically we've seen that the yield increase you get from drip uh, is significant, roughly um, 50 to 60 percent increase uh, is definitely makes the, the investment worth it. Historically tomatoes would have been irrigated by furrow irrigation and the water would run by gravity through the rows. These days almost everyone uses drip irrigation so that we can conserve water and achieve better yields. Additional benefits are the water savings uh, rather than flooding um, and deep percolating significant, significant amounts of water. Uh, this system allows the grower to irrigate exactly to plant evapotranspiration. Um, basically the only water that's put on is what the plant uses. So this reservoir supplies the drip irrigation on our tomatoes. We have about a 24 hour supply of water here in the reservoir. Most drip irrigation systems require a reservoir which is like a shock absorber in the system. If your well goes down you still have water to run for irrigation. Um, it's always important to have enough capacity that if the well shuts off, the irrigation can continue until the well comes back online. Motors can be unreliable, especially in the summer when we have rolling brownouts and sometimes the power gets turned off, especially in those hot afternoons, and irrigation has to continue. Uh, tomatoes are still grown on flood, but uh, few and far between. Uh, drip irrigation is pretty much the industry standard. Uh, installing drip irrigation is a very expensive uh, capital cost, but it's worth it in the long run because our yields are better and we can serve water. Well, water's expensive and it's a precious natural resource, so anytime we can save water, we're actually saving money. And if we can get bigger yields at the same time, it's a win-win situation.